Hi guys, this video is gonna be a haul of the things that we got baby girl for now and things that we got for me in terms of what I'm gonna need for the hospital. So it's kind of like an all-in-one, but it's all to do with newborn babies and new mums. So in a minute you'll see that I definitely have quite a lot of things, but I don't have everything that I need yet, especially not the quantity that I need for certain things, but I know I'm heading in the right direction and my to-buy list is definitely getting smaller. I'm gonna start with baby stuff and then I'll do my own stuff at the end. So the first thing I have, which is definitely not an essential, but it's something that I really wanted to get baby girl is a little comforter, a little blankie. I got one for James when he was a, a newborn and his was a little blue, uh, a little teddy bear with the blue cloth bit. And obviously it's not an essential, but it's nice to have some of these cuddly toys around. Next is something that came through the post very recently and I was so excited about because I've always wanted one of these and I finally have one. And it is one of the Aiden and Anae uh, swaddle blankets. Look how pretty this is. This is pink with metallic gold detailing. I don't know how well you're able to see this, but it is absolutely gorgeous, 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 and enormous. I've never seen such a big like muslin blanket. This is folded in three. You're not gonna be able to see how big this actually is. This can be used for so many things. This can be used as a little lightweight blanket, as a muslin for them to lie on top so you don't put them directly on the floor for lots and lots of things. And it's really soft and cozy. This makes a lovely gift if you have any pregnant friends and you'd like to give them something really special. I'd highly recommend getting them one of these Aiden, Aiden and Anae blankets. This one is from Natural Baby Shower and I'll leave the link to the website below because they stock some amazing brands. If you haven't heard of them, definitely go and check them out. They do. They stock Aiden and Anae, uh, Sleepy Head, Snooze Pods. There are a lot of great brands there to check it out. So definitely go and have a look at Natural Baby Shower. Now now when it comes to everyday muslin squares that you use to clean up sick and dribble, you don't want to be using your special ones. So I got a few packs of these. This one is from Asda and it's three muslin squares for £3.50 and I thought this was just nice to have it pretty pink ones because so far I've only had white and blue ones for my little boy so now I got some pink ones for her. And I also got a pack from Tesco which is six muslin squares and uh, these, these are just plain white ones. My favorite ones are from Primark and I'm still gonna go out and buy some of those because they wash really well. They still stay soft after you wash them and I've had loads of them for James and they are my favorite ones, but there's nothing wrong with any muslin squares. You can't have too many of those because they, you, they literally save the day for everything. Also from Tesco, I got a pack of two cotton fitted sheets for the Moses basket and it has this cute little print there with flowers and the other one is polka dots. In terms of blankets, I always like to have a variety of fleece cozy blankets and lightweight blankets. I got a couple of fleecy blankets. This one is from Tesco and it's just a pink, very soft fleecy blanket and it's just really nice and soft and cozy. Another one that I have here was brought from my mum from Brazil. It's so gorgeous. And look at the detail on this and I think this will look so nice on the pram or over her just keeping her nice and warm on the car seat and I absolutely love this. If I can find where this is from I'll leave a link below. If not then I'll try and find something similar here in the UK where you can find easily. Another two things that my mum brought from Brazil, uh, I know it's frustrating because if you like them, then it's highly unlikely they'll be able to, you'll be able to find them here, but you might be able to find alternatives. One is this little pod here. Don't know how well you'll be able to see it. It's got a zipper at the front and basically the baby goes inside and lies in there and it stays nice and cozy. We had one of these with James and we found it very useful, particularly when we were transitioning him from the Moses basket into the cot because he was still quite small in the cot so he felt a bit kind of lost. There was a lot of space around him and I found that putting him inside this little pod kept him nice and snugly in the cot and he didn't feel so lost and like in a big, big open space. And something else that we found very useful to have and she brought as well was a padded changing mat. And this one is plastic on the one side 
and fabric on the other side. The reason why these are so good is that they fold nicely, you can put them away somewhere and they can be wiped clean very easily because they've got a plastic outside. So what I used to do with James was put a muslin over the top just so that it wasn't cold against his skin because the plastic can get a bit cold and change his nappy whenever, wherever. I take this around the house with me. Speaking about nappy changes, I've got some essentials here. Some size one nappies, these are just the Tesco Loves Baby nappies, newborn nappies. I've got one pack of size one and then I have one pack of size two nappies. I don't think I'm going to be going overboard with buying the size ones and two newborn nappies just yet. I might just buy another one of the size two. But I'm just going to wait and see if I'm going to need any of the size zero nappies. But for now, I think starting with size one is a good option. I also have some water wipes, which are for me the best wipes for newborn babies because they're so pure, they're chemical free um, and I used them with James and I was very very pleased with them but I also have some of the Huggies newborn wipes which are new ones that have been out recently, they're a new range from Huggies and they're also safe from newborn. So I'm going to be alternating between these two and the Huggies ones are slightly cheaper so they don't break the bank just as much as the water wipes do. Um, but I'm going to be using these for, especially for when baby girl is a newborn. I, when she gets older then I might switch to different wipes that are a bit more affordable. But for now I want to give her the best care possibly. Um, I'm also going to be using cotton wool and water but I find that wipes are very very handy to have for your changing bag, for night uh, nighttime changing, they're just really convenient for a lot of things so I think it's worth having them. And to go with them I got a pack of 300 nappy bags from Asda. These ones are the best value for money that I can find. I think they're about 35p if I'm not mistaken for 300 nappy bags. Even the ones from Poundland are not as cheap as these ones, the ones from Tesco. So I always get these ones and I get them in bulk because I use them for James as well. For nappy cream, I'm planning to use Bepanthin on baby girl, unless she has a reaction to it and doesn't take well to it. But James has adapted really well to Bepanthin and I find the texture really nice and easy to get on and off this skin. In terms of bath in her, I'm sure I'm gonna have some leftover stuff from James, but I got her the Johnson's all-in-one baby wash um, developed for sensitive sensitive and newborn skin and I had this with James as well and he took really well to it he didn't have any reactions I got this pack of two sponges bath sponges from Tesco loves baby in terms of her little hair we have two sets of comb and brush the one is from this one here is from Chico and it's really really pretty my mum actually brought this from Brazil for us but I think Chico is an international brand you can find it in the UK you can find it in the US and it seems to be really good quality, the bristles. So um, yeah, I really like that one. And I also got one from As The Little Angels. Um, and this one is like a purpley one, really nice and pretty as well. I'm not gonna get her her own grooming set with like nail scissors and clippers and all of that because I already have that for James. So I thought I'd just get her some brushes of her own so that she's not sharing her brother's hairbrush. I got some cotton buds from Tesco and these are the safety buds that have the big ends there so that you don't kind of like damage their ears by pushing it too far down in. Um, after she's a bit older and I feel a bit more comfortable then I'll use the normal cotton buds but I found these really useful. When James was a newborn it kind of gave me a little bit of peace of mind so I got them and I have a few miscellaneous things that we have for James that I also got for baby girl. We have Infocol which is for colic, wind, um, griping pain and things like that. Uh, and it used to help James a lot. So I got some of that for baby girl. Got some Bongella teething gel, because teething is a pain. <laughs> and I got some Snuffle Babe nasal drops, just to, if she's congested, which she will be eventually, um, I can use that on her. Uh, I also got two packs of dummies. These are the same dummies that James uses and they have been great for him. So I got the same type. These are the Mam Clear, well, I don't know, this one is the clear and this one is the air from Nortman so that they can use it from newborn. I got a, p a pack of pink ones and a pack of blue ones. Now let's move on to some clothing bits, shall we? Um, I got this pack from George Baby of two hats and two scratch mitts. 
um, and they're from newborn so they're tiny I like the hats that are plain at the top that don't have you know the little sticky outy bit or the bobble or anything this is a pack of one floral one and a pink one and the mitts match the hats I also got some bibs from Primark and I loved these with James he had the blue ones and we found them to be absolutely great because they're very thin as you can see there they are absorbent but not too absorbent but what I really like about them is that they're not like crinkly they're not uncomfortable if he fell asleep wearing one of these bibs I could easily take it off without waking him up and they're kind of like inconspicuous so they were my favorites with James and I just got some pink ones for baby girl and then I just have some essential sleep suits and body suits I like to buy these packs because they're really good value for money this is a pack for not to three months of plain white and pink long sleeve bodysuits from George Asda. Then I have a pack of seven short sleeve bodysuits um, from Asda as well. And this is in size 0 to 3 months. I have a size 0 to 3 months pack of sleep suits. And uh, these are really nice because they have little hearts on them and bunny rabbits. You can see I love bunny rabbits on baby girls. I think they're just so cute. The bodysuits and the sleep suits are from the same kind of range, so they match, which is nice. For the newborn size, I went for kind of like a floral pattern, also from Asda, and this is first size up to nine pounds, or 4.1 kilograms. So like I said, I still need to get a first size pack of short sleeve bodysuits and I need to get some sleeveless bodysuits. In this little bag here, I have a selection of tights and hats and bows and things. This little hat my mum brought from Brazil. Look how tiny this is. This will probably be her first hat, I think, because it's so small. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see her wearing these things. And then we have a pair of pink tights with little hearts. I think these were from Primark. I took them out of the packaging, but I think they were from Primark or Tesco. And there's a grey pair and a pink pair. I also have this pack from George Asda, which is a cream pair and a pink pair with little hearts as well. This one is from Nort Month, so from £9. I hope she'll be able to use this quite soon. I think these are Nort to 3 months, so slightly bigger. And in here, I have the cutest little bows that my mum brought for her. Look at that. Isn't that just so, so cute? There's a, a little salmon colored one and a white one with little jewels in the middle. I love these. I'm not a big fan of the huge like bows on babies' heads. It's just not my personal preference. I much prefer the little dainty ones. And I love that my mum brought these for me. Inside this other little bag here, I have some little shoes and socks. And the first one I'm gonna show you is my favorite. <laughs> Look at this prettiness for a pair of shoes how cute is that they've got a little bow at the back and look at the detail on that this is a size european size 15 us size zero they're so cute we got her another pair of shoes these are from tesco so you can find them a bit easier than the other ones and they have little stars on them just really pretty these are up to three months size and she also bought this little sock kind of shoe thing which is also glittery last but not least in terms of baby girl and then i'm gonna move on to the stuff i got for myself i'm gonna show you some special items of clothing that we got for baby girl the first one is this little sleep suit with a tutu and oh my god i'm so obsessed with this i saw this in asda and i couldn't resist it i got this in first size which is up to nine pounds because I'm hoping that she's gonna be coming home with this outfit. I think it's nice that it's a sleep suit, but it's dressy. But being a sleep suit is convenient still for a newborn, but it's just a little bit more special with the tutu and the frills. It's just so pretty. Another thing we got for her is this lovely little gray dress with little bunny rabbit pockets here. And this is from Tesco Baby, um, up to three months. And it came with a pair of tights, but I think the tights are somewhere else. I don't know where they are. This other one here is like a, a dressy top. It's got frills on the bottom as well and butterflies and flowers. And I don't know where this is from. This is from Primark. This is naught to three months. To break up a little bit of the pink, I got her this little dress from 
George Asda and it comes with a pair of tights as well which matches and it's just navy blue and red really pretty this is not to three months did I say that already um but I thought this was so cute and a little bit of a different color because everything that I'm looking at right now is either pink or gray so it's nice to have something different um also from Asda I got her this little set which is a dress with a long sleeve bodysuit and it also comes with a pair of tights that matches the dress and look at this kind of like plaid pink plaid design it has little heart buttons look oh it's so cute and this here is something that we've borrowed from my sister-in-law because she's just had a baby girl and she let us borrow this kind of snow suit that her baby girl outgrew very quickly but this is from Asda and this is first size so up to nine pounds as well and hopefully something that she will be wearing on the way home she'll be born still in the winter and she'll need something nice and soft and cozy to keep her warm it has the built-in scratch mitts there and then I have the last two dresses this one my mum brought from Brazil and I love this such a pretty dress it's got little jewels on the top there and it's navy blue and white it says size medium so I'm gonna say three to six months maybe this other one my mum also brought from Brazil and it's a cute little dressy top kind of thing with jewels and the Eiffel Tower and some balloons and a horse and it's really really cute moving on to the things that I got for myself for hospital I definitely need a few more things I'm not done shopping for myself yet but I've got a couple of bits to show you and I'll be sharing you with you what's in my hospital bag for me and for baby so you'll be able to see everything that I end up taking with me to hospital but the first thing I got was a pack of five dispo disposable maternity briefs from Tesco I got these with James and they were so so useful because after you give birth things get quite messy down there. I took these to hospital with me and I found them very useful and also I got a pack of 40 breast pads. I got a few of those not just one but I, I didn't see the point in showing you all the ones I have. I went through hundreds of these with James and so I started stocking up on them. I also got a pack of ultra slim maternity towels and maternity towels that are not ultra slim as you can see from the size they are huge I think that's the size of one from top to bottom you can see but I highly recommend going for the biggest size you can find on maternity towels especially straight after you give birth and the first couple of weeks because there's a lot of bleeding to tackle and then once the bleeding starts to get a bit less you can start using the thinner ones the more discreet ones so I got a few packs of these and I got myself some Lancino lanolin nipple cream because this was a lifesaver literally it stopped my nipples from bleeding and from getting all sorts of painful cracks and things so I got some of the this and it's really expensive but definitely worth the money so that wraps up everything that we've got for baby girl so far I didn't include all of the body suits and sleep suits that we have because we do have some very plain ones just basic white and pink ones so I didn't see the point of including them I definitely feel like I'm well and truly on my way into finishing the basic kind of newborn essentials shopping and then whatever I think I get after that will be just extras or pretty things that I find that I want to buy. If you want to check out any of the things that I mentioned I'll leave all the links to everything that I can find in the description box below so make sure to check that out. Some of the things might not be in stock and other things might not be available in the UK like the things my mum brought from Brazil so I'll try and link to alternatives if I can find them. If you like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you very soon. Bye.